Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Today uh, we have a few things going on. I am, well I need to go get my nails done because this is looking pretty bad and then later on today we are going to my in-laws house and now I think my brother-in-law is coming over with his family and so we're just gonna have like a nice family day over there too. So I'm going to be vlogging and um, just doing little bits here and there. Right now, Bash is down for his very first nap. It is 10 o'clock and I am starving. So I'm gonna make Brennan and I some pancakes and I'm going to do it from scratch. So hopefully they taste okay. <laughs> Before I start cooking, I just wanna clean off my counter really quick cause like Bash's banana from breakfast is still here. But I was laughing at how full my calendar is and a lot of you guys ask me like how I plan out my YouTube channel so that I don't get burned out and I do get burned out. It's just it's just part of the the job, I guess. But basically, this was just the month of November and as you can see, there was something written pretty much every day for this month except November 6th and 14th and then the 26th, 28th, 29th and 30th. And that's this week and that's only because um I already have everything filmed and ready to go and then leading up to December where I have the entire first week and I already know what's going up with the second week for my vlogmas, 12 days of Christmas, whatever I'm doing situation. So you guys will get, uh, well right now, for sure you will get a video upload every day in the very first week. but you will get something more than likely for the first 12 days. I already have it planned out. I just don't have it written down on the calendar, but I just thought I'd show you that because this is the only way I can keep track of what I need to be doing on my channel uh, ever. I have to write it all down and I literally have to color coordinate and I write down like film this, upload this and yellow means film, purple means upload. And then I have some Instagram stuff on there too if I have to post on there for a brand or or whatever. It seems like it's not a lot of work to, you know, just film yourself and upload, but it actually is. But yeah, I thought I would just show you guys that because um, it's, it's a thing. Being a YouTuber is an actual job. I have just about everything cleaned up from here and I can go ahead and begin on these pancakes and I want to show you guys something really quickly because I'm about to use it but this I can't remember if I showed it in my last video but this gramophone I got this from Target and I just put this little Christmas decoration on here because um, it needed a little something else but this gramophone is so cute and I think it would make a perfect holiday gift and all you do is just stick your phone in this slot here, you don't have to hook anything up. It, there's no Bluetooth and it, it has like a little hole in there and it creates like a resonating chamber and it comes out louder out of this part. And it's not a sponsorship or anything, but it's at Target. I think I paid $20 for it and it would be a fabulous gift. It was in there, um, the men's like Christmas gift section. I got it from there and I love it. I bought it for, myself slash the house but anyway yeah i'm just gonna set my phone on there and listen to either some christmas music or a podcast i can't decide and uh finally make this breakfast <laughs> on my way to the nail salon now because it's an emergency. I mean, not really, but it is. I found this really pretty 
it, I'm assuming that it's an SNS dip powder nail situation, but I found one on Pinterest and I really, really want to try it. And I'm just hoping that they can do it, first of all. And if they do, that then I have a good experience with the SNS because last time it didn't even last uh, two whole weeks. I really want it though. It's very cute and very pretty. I'll show a picture of what it looks like versus reality of my actual nails when they're done. I just finished in the nail place I'm gonna show you my nails and so the original picture that I showed her um, she said that she had never done that before and she also has never done what she ended up doing on my nails before either so I'm not gonna show the original because it doesn't look anything like that it's actually a different nail style altogether but what she ended up doing is this and hopefully it'll focus but it's ombre and it's almost like a French but ombre and the light's not picking it up quite like it looks in person. But it's like this, um, like a light pink kind of topish color that goes down into white very subtly. And I love it. I think she did a great job and she was so nervous because she had never done anything like that before. And she's like, what if you don't like it? And I said, well, if I don't like it, then I'm just gonna wear it anyway because I basically asked you to do something you never have done before. So that would be my own fault if it doesn't turn out how I like it, unless it was just awful. But this isn't awful and I actually really like it. And she goes, we'll do it again the next time. I'm gonna get better at this, I love it. So, um, yeah, I'm very pleased with my nails right now and uh the next time we come i will either do this again or i may do like a holiday color just because it is about to be christmas and that will be just before my birthday probably but now um like i said earlier i needed to run a few more errands i have got to get a couple of bins i need to get i think three bins for our leftover Christmas ornaments, leftover fall ornaments, and for Bash's small clothes. And that's it, I think. These are exactly what I need. We are in the car and I'm with this one and Bash in the back seat headed to his dad's house and we stopped just now at McDonald's and we were just talking because I don't think that I have had McDonald's since at least February which has been a, a, almost a year now because I just decided I don't like it anymore. But. I'm starving and uh, I wanted to eat something before we went over there so that's what it is right now because then we don't have a lot of options um, on the way there but the exit that we came up on is actually the exit that I used to work on three jobs ago it looks different yet kind of the same at the same time mm, just as good as I remember and I got an Oreo McFlurry I decided if I'm gonna do McDonald's, I'm just gonna do it big. And there's nothing better than an Oreo McFlurries with their fries. Am I right? Oh, please. Don't act like you've never had it before. It's been years. It has been years. Oh, God. He stopped McDonald's before I did, and it's been, I know it has to have been at least a year. Cause we've been in our house for nine, 10 months now. And it's been since before then. It even feels artificial in my hands, but it tastes good. I forgot. But I won't be doing this again. <laughs> Blow him a kiss. Blow him a kiss. <laughs> Blow Pop-Up a kiss. <laughs> hey! Let's still do this right. You, yeah. do you don't want to say hello? You look fine. No, I don't. Just a quick hello to say hi to my vlog. 
Okay. This is Brendan's dad and his stepmom Selena. Hi. And right now she and I are making the mold wine recipe. So first we're gonna use this wine that I was telling you guys about in my last vlog. And it is butternut wine in the uh, Cabernet Sauvignon for this. Actually, no, you can pour the entire bottle in the slow cooker. And you, me, and Lydia, I guess, can drink this and the guys can have something else if they don't yeah. want this. Yeah. And then we're putting in a fourth cup of brandy and then we'll do a fourth cup of honey. And she said, had she known I was filming, she would have taken out the, the newer crock pot, so no judgment. She actually has a very beautiful home, so, and they have all the gadgets and things here, so we know you have a nicer one. It's totally fine. So this is the honey going in. Mmm. Now we are adding in two cups of apple cider. Now we're just gonna squeeze this juice in. I already peeled, I peeled it first. We probably, sh probably shouldn't have, but oh well. No clothes. I left it in my spice cabinet. You gonna help decorate for Christmas? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> Sweet baby! Now, was he good while we were gone? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Laughing, doing this with everybody. So what you guys didn't see was for the last hour or so, me and Selena, we ran out to the grocery store for a minute, picked up an ingredient that I left at my house for the mulled wine, but it should be ready in just a second. And then we had the genius idea when we left to have all the guys take out the Christmas decorations so that we could decorate their tree. Is Lydia coming down soon? Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully she's working, she's working. But if she can come downstairs and um, help us decorate, that'd be fun because all the guys are doing their own thing. Yes. It's called Mold, with M-U-L-L-E-D. I don't even like wine and I like it. It's oh, good. This is yeah. really good. Yeah. Oh gosh, this is so good. It is good. Right. Yeah, I've come to a, one holiday party years and years ago, and they had it there. And they had it there. Yeah. Yeah. This is good. really good. Yeah. Sophia, come here. Your mommy told me that you want to be on YouTube. Do. You want to have a channel? Do you want to take my camera for a few minutes? Oh. Come here. Come here. She's like so excited. All right, you got to wear this strap around your wrist. Put it on your wrist. Well, are you left-handed or right-handed? Uh, right. Right-handed. So this hand. Um, we are going to do a Christmas tree. We're going to hang some ornaments, too. We're also going to decorate the Christmas tree with lights and add the star. And if you had your own YouTube channel, what would you want to talk about? Mm, I do like video games and that stuff. Oh, you'd have a gaming channel? Yeah, I really want to do a gaming channel. Really? What's your favorite video Not game? Exactly. I actually have two, Roblox and Minecraft. Wow. They're two very popular games. Yeah, I've heard of Minecraft. Comment below if you guys would subscribe to Sophia's YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> if that's something you really want to see. <laughs> we have to get through mom first and oh. see. so much better. They got it tight already, Pop. Maybe it's not sitting in there right. Maybe, maybe the base of it isn't sitting. Yeah, that right there. Zachary, can you lift up? Can you take two hands and lift up? The base of it. Be careful because it's on the FDS yeah, to the bottom. How many roots does it take to screw a Christmas Ooh. tree in straight? A lot. <laughs> what, what are you doing? We're just trying to pull it. We're going to put the plugs together first. There's a plug hanging out on that side. I know because we can't find the part that goes to I want you guys to know something about these men, these Ruth men that we are married to. So me and Selena and Lydia could not get one portion of the Christmas tree to turn on. And we've been working on it for like an hour. We took the entire thing apart and still there was like a strip of lights missing. The guys get on the tree and for 30 seconds they get 
get it working. What? So they're trying to be obnoxious by turning what? out all the lights to prove to us that they can get this on. Hey, and they fixed hey, it. Hey, it was the circuit though. <laughs> the circuit was broken. <laughs> Y'all just got some lights out. <laughs> I was convinced that the tree was broken. <laughs> it took us an hour. What y'all do, for real? You know what you had? You know what you did? You guys put, you plugged them in to something that wasn't going to the circuit. We basically loosened it for you to get it right. You plugged the, you plugged the string into itself. No, we set it up for you guys. Yeah. So that you could do it and feel strong and manly and all these other things that you're hey, feeling manly, experiencing right now. Manly had nothing to do with that. Hey, why are you giving that to me? Uh, They're being so mean. 35 seconds that. So I guess now, an hour or two later, since we've taken the tree out of the box, it's finally time to decorate oh. this. Come here, Bashy. Oh, Hey, baby. Nah. Uh, nah. You ready to finally decorate? We're gonna have to put some blocks on here. Can you say we'll see you next time? See you next time. Can you say bye-bye to me, Mom? And bye to Sophia. Uh, bye, Lydia. It was so bye. good to see you. Oh, that's cute. Say, I'll see you later, Sophia. Can you give Sophia a kiss? Oh, you just want hugs. <laughs> All right, guys. We are finally home, and I'm exhausted, but I had such a great time at my in-laws' house. I am exhausted. I'm about to get into my cozies and relax i'm so tired i had a great time today today was like a nice um like day to get into the spirit of christmas and now i am going to cuddle with brandon and watch a movie i hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and make sure you share it with your friends and i will see you in the next one good night let us gather round for it's christmas time a merry sound and the stars align let us all rejoice when it's christmas time and our hope again made new in the crowded streets calling